If you added too much butter, yes. so the color is correct now, right? Yeah, the right. color looks really bright orange. Let's see, uh, sugar butter, coating powder. It's so nice, the color smells good too. Hi, guys! So, we are now done making the chocolate butternut coating. Now, I will make the chocolate butternut ganache. I will take two spoons of this. And guys, this Nestle, uh, this Nestle squeezy, it's really nice because for people who like spreading their condensed milk on their bread, you can just squeeze it out without having to open the can and pour it. Oh, and guys, I forgot to tell you. Did you know that we're making chocolate butternut without baking? I never heard of this recipe. I'm sure it's yummy. Okay, now I'm making the ganache. Ganache sounds like a really fancy word, doesn't it? Kids, this is really, really fun to do. And the finishing product will be really yummy. I know. <laughs> because of the ingredients. So I'm telling all of you to try doing this recipe. It's like mixing brownies. The ganache is almost ready. And also, this squeezy Nesto sweetened condensed milk bottle, it's really nice. I, <laughs> it's also good if you want to pour it to a cup and eat it. <laughs> okay, so the ganache is ready. I'll set it aside over here. So now I will get the chocolate cake. Let me close this. And get the chocolate cake. So guys, this is only the second option. Um, we're actually supposed to use a fudgy bar. It's bought in Filipino stores, but we couldn't go there, so this was our only choice. And we also have another choice, which is the Barbie. We're gonna check which one is the best. This is the Barbie. I'll put on gloves because I'll have to wash it. Oh, guys, this is the chocolate cake. It looks and smells like a gigantic fudgy bar, like the ones I eat at school. So guys, um, I accidentally almost used the wrong bowl. Anyways, what you have to do is get it in this looks. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh my god, oops. Wait, maybe this is a big fudgy 
Mermaid bar. Like it has filling. I can see filling in it. <laughs> Not the big fudgy bar. <laughs> I made the correct choice. Yes. It's a big fudgy bar. It's like a big fudgy It is so satisfying to crush this. Anyways, so once I'm done crushing this, I have to add, we have to all add the ganache. <laughs> a gigantic rock. <laughs> No, it's a gigantic uh, munchkin. <laughs> Talk about it as munchkin. Then <laughs> no, we have to crush it more and then add a little ganache. <laughs> I crush it again. <laughs> Teach them properly. <laughs> this part is the fun part. So now I will add the ganache in this um in this bowl because I have to roll it in there and there's no space to roll it in here. So guys, if there's not enough ganache, um, you can just make more. It's starting to look like I'm mixing brownies. It looks yummy, I can eat it. So I will add one spoon in here so it will become sticky. So it can become a bone. Okay, finally. Now I'll mix it with the spoon and then later I'll shape it with my hand. We always need to make sure this is mixed properly. So guys, I just got a plate so I can put the finished cake rolls. Not cake rolls. Finished donut. Oh, I think this is the rolling part. We need to make sure these are really strong because we don't want them to crumble in the ganache. Oh no. Yeah. And it's opening! <laughs> Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> So guys, I molded, um, I molded some already. Okay. And I did a test and it works. And also I added one tablespoon of milk in here. Um, guys, when you're gonna roll, uh, the donuts into the ganache, you have to be careful with it because it might break in the ganache. And also when it's already covered in ganache, be careful when you're rolling it in this. We don't want them to break. I'm gonna fix this. Okay. Almost done! It's getting stuck to the bone. Even little kids can do this. One of them is really tiny, but they're all different shapes and sizes. Don't forget to wash your hands before doing this. We don't want any germs in the food. It's better that you just wear gloves that fit perfectly because when you roll it into the ganache, it will get messy if your gloves are really big. And my gloves were really big so that's why I had to remove it. But I wash my hands. Oh, it looks... 
so while it was drying, it, the chocolate was kind of getting stuck to the plate it's on. It's so easy to know that. And like the stickiness goes away because it's covered in this orange stuff. You know, this is my favorite part, rolling it into this orange stuff. On my first try, I didn't cool it and it became, it didn't look very nice. But now that you cool it, it's like you can just roll it. But be careful not to smush it. That's something no one wants. Okay, last one. Last one, guys. And then I'll try the it in the barney. Okay. Okay, so guys, I will taste it now. Okay, I'll taste it. It's really chewy, but at the same time, it's crunchy. Mmm. It tastes like a cake. And I can also taste the orange one. The orange one tastes really good. It tastes like the choco butternut munchkin. It tastes really good. But it's sweet, so you have to have water with you. So I think it's sweet because um, it's a, we used a cake. I used a cake. And we're supposed to use the fudgy bar. The cake was more sweeter than the fudgy bar. I know because I tasted them both. But this is really good. You just need a glass of milk or water or juice. So kids, you will really enjoy making this and it tastes so good. You don't need any parents' help. So just do it on your own. You will enjoy doing it. Okay, so guys, please like this video and also subscribe to Ira Hardy Sweet Life. And don't forget, Jesus loves us all. Bye-bye! <laughs> what, what?